Hello, greetings. I go by the name of the Bearded Captain, as you know. Good morning, I hope you're well. And I hope you're in the process of looking after your beards. Uh, guys, a, another video coming up right here from your Bearded Captain. I wanted to talk about this particular issue, an important issue. Uh, this video is coming from my car. Um, and... Manchester has decided to uh, break out with a bit of sunshine where before it was absolutely pelting it down. But anyway, there you go. Um, I've put the camera in a bit of a, an unusual angle because it's going to nicely bring me onto my topic. My topic of this, guys, be wary. Be careful. So we've talked about growing our beards and looking after them and, uh, well, we've started to talk about, uh, we will start to talk about looking after them. But I want to talk about this. So you've grown your beard. Now, it's in its magnificence. Well, obviously, if you're an Asian, like, it's, like I've said before, your face grows like a werewolf. Um, it's like somebody's already put miracle grow on your face. So it's just literally like you try and stop it there and it'll poof, stop it there and poof. It'll puff out and all sorts. So it's a, it's a tricky game in that sense, being an Asian. Uh, so we have our Afro-Caribbean friends, our Jamaican friends who are blessed with the six-pack. Literally do ten press-ups and six-pack there. And we're like, oh, years after years trying. Oh, 600, 700. Oh, have we got a six-pack yet? Nope, still the bare belly. Um... Uh, our Asian and our uh, Caucasian uh, friends will be able to verify uh, that obviously we haven't got anything on the Afro-Caribbean uh, any, I haven't got anything on our Afro-Caribbean friends there in that regard but anyway, sorry, back to the bid now, we've grown it in its magnificence uh, we're going to have to talk about looking after it, maintaining it but there's one thing as you're doing it me is personally this i don't know why it's personally this i just love doing this with my beard and as a result as you can see now i've left it like this to prove my point the beard is a little bit unkept uh wednesday it will be get uh it will be uh, dressed and we'll visit the uh, bearded barber the bearded salon but now though look at this i just wanted to bring this to your attention so as you're playing with your beard well, you'll naturally want to play the bid. It's very addictive. You'll think, oh, no, no, no. We all do it. Uh, brother Bid has done it. My twin twin bid, he does it. Brother-in-law does it. Um, and, yeah, so as a result, it'll leave the bid uneven. So I'm just going to have a slight fiddle here to prove my point of what I'm going to say. So what you need is this bad boy. No, it's not a knit comb. It's a beard comb. Um, it's kind of shaped almost like a headlights comb, but uh, yeah, and um, you do not necessarily head, not necessarily beard lice, but you do get a bit flaky bits in your beard as well. So just be wary of that, guys. We're gonna obviously talk uh, in detail and make this a bearded grooming, bearded care series through me, your bearded captain. So just to wrap this up, be wary, guys. So you've done the hard work, you've grown your beard. You're going to have the beard itch, which we're going to talk about as well. Uh, keep this with you because you'll naturally be tempted to play with your beard. It's so soothing, so relaxing. But be warned and be careful. It will leave it, it will leave it, i.e. your beard, being messy and untidy and unkept. That's the last thing that you want. We'll talk about this in a bit more detail. Uh, but for now, guys, have a lovely day. Take care. I've been your bearded captain. Peace.